Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from wherever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, during campaign, William Ruto used the issue of CRB, Fululiza, and Mshwari, all those things, to whip the emotions of Kenyans and tell them the reason why they have issues with this. And according to him, he was going to break this one to an end by providing a means on which Kenyans will be free. And yesterday, Ruto confirmed that he has removed about 7 million Kenyans from CRB. Today, they are free Kenyans. First of all, listen to him. Then from here, we have to question the motive of William Ruto, if he did remove Kenyans, and then when he's doing so, what is his target? What is his master plan at the end of the day? Mimi ni kawaeleza tutawaondoa wa Kenya katika blacklisting ya mambo ya credit reference bureau. Leo, mimi nataka ni watangazie ya kwamba we have made that commitment come true. Wa Kenya milioni saba ambao walikuwa wamekuwa blacklisted wote tumewaondoa katika blacklist. Now we are continuing with the panel and discussion but just a big request for those who are watching and you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to our return subscribers and anyone who comment I must say thank you so much and again to all our viewers please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. For those who remember during campaign, there was a kind of a fight against the Kenyatta family to do with the issue of uh, using M-Pesa to sell the the issue to do with the Fululiza, the m business, those money lending using the mobile. The blame was always going to Kenyatta family. But then the question was that someone is in that business, eh? He's lending money to those who have interest, to, who have, who are willing to take the loan to sort out your problem. But they have been attacking it so much. What is emerging here is that in as much Ruto is talking about removing Kenyans from CRB, and the number is quoting seemingly look like big because I've seen Kenyans also reacting on the same, which shows that then majority of them are still in CRB. But then what he's trying to do here is that we have to check. Ruto is driving Kenyans from what he's saying that he's removing Kenyans from CRB, but then there is also another beach he's leading Kenyans to, and in two years' time, you are going to be back on CRB. Because then, what took many Kenyans to CRB, ni mamba ya kukopa pesa kutumia simu, then unakosa kurulisha kwa haraka. Iyo ni lipeleka wengi huku. It's quick money, you can access it at any point, but the problem is when you delay to pay on time. You land in that problem. But then, what is the plan to do with the what Ruto brought in as a Hustler Fund? We have to question the motive of Hustler Fund. Now, with the Hustler Fund, this is where you are borrowing money, but then this regime, through the Hustler Fund, they retain some amount from what you have borrowed. Then again, the service charges there, they are cutting also. So, if you are borrowing 500 shillings, you end up getting less than that. Or if you are getting that 500, when you are repaying that, you end up repaying more. On a percentage of a bank now, something like 10 shillings or 5 there. Then, when I cut some interest there to service their, their program. Then when you return the amount, the question is, what are you going to deal with the issue of people who are not repaying the hustler fund? What kind of penalty are they going to attract? Because now you are bringing in the issue of removing people from CRP. Ruto amekutua kwa CRP na hii mkono, na hii mkono ingine anapanga kurudisha kwa CRP. So he is removing you from this one, bringing you to Hustler Fund, and then from here he is taking you back there. The issue of Hustler Fund, see kama Fululiza na hizo zengine. With Fululiza there was no one who was holding to your money. You get it all, but you pay that interest. With this one, Ruto amefungua bank account yake. Lakini anatumia pesa za wa Kenya kuendesha hiyo account. Na hiyo ndio profetia. Mnakopa, 
mkilipa. Wewe ukirudisha hivi, huyu mwingine anakopa. Akirudisha hivi, huyu mwingine anakopa. Na kila wakati mnakopa, kuna interest inakuja pale. Besides that interest, there is some amount he is withholding. Anakwambia he is saving for you. I don't know how. Someone is holding to your money. If you are holding like maybe 10 shillings from everyone who is borrowing, then assume like half a million people have borrowed. You multiply 10 by half a million. You're talking about 5 million. Then this money you used to do trading around within the day. When you are trading also, you are also making profit with the same man amount of money. If we have 1 million people borrowing every day, you are talking about 10 million you are making every day in, the, in terms of withholding. What one makopa na withhold your pesa. Milo may withhold evil, it is their money, but you want to use it to trade. Unaanza kutumia kupeana, iso lo nizengena, unapeana. Yani wa Kenya, Ruto has opened a bank, and it is you who is financing this bank. Besides that, it's making a profit using your own money that is forcefully withholding. Then, beside all this, with your own money, Ruto won't take you to CRB the day you are going to default. You have to be very careful. You have to understand. Anawangea na mudomo hivi le uru walikuwa nasema, na mudomo hii ingine, anafana mambu ingine tofauti. <laughs> so, as Ruto come out with this populist statement, aha, we have to understand who is William Ruto and what is he really doing. You have to reflect on the ground what is happening. What is he trying to do? So we are seeing a man who is in competition of business with the Kenyatta family and the other families like Moi family, Nairo Zengine. They are in competition. We have to understand that. And he has come out with a counter business to Kenyatta. Sababu walisema Kenyatta ndi wanafanya mamba ya fururiza Nairo Zengine. Nisawa. He has a fund near none. Tuko na youth fund yon ya sedekari na hizi ngine zote. Hii ngine wamezema kuna mtu mnakuna na yama alipopote. Misawa tu na hiyo fululiza na zingine. Ukutani na mtu yote maali popote wakikopa. Lakini the issue of refunding the money, the issue of interest, the issue of withholding that amount wanabaki na yo. It's something we have to question. So, kuna banka ya mtu hapa. Na nyinyi ndio mnafana hiyo kazi ya kufana hiyo bank ile le kuna wili. Because what we have to understand in the economy is that you will find the middle class are the ones who are saving. You earn, you save. You earn na wale maskini wa chini. You earn, you try to save and you are saving where in the bank. You open a bank account where una save. Where una save. But now the rich are the ones using your money to do business and earn profit because the rich, they don't have time to save. They are coming to borrow. So you yourself, they come and borrow. You yourself, they come and borrow. When they borrow, they go and put up houses, apartments. Then you, the same person, you are the one who is going to live in that apartment and you pay rent to that person. So you are servicing even the you see you just help them to grow. The day you default you, you default you you, you 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 delay to pay your rent, he lock your 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 room. And he pays a zakwa to make a good yenga, and after the pesa zakwa to make a good yenga, and bank. And he got an apesa kidogo ya kwanza nayo. Lakini the bigger target was to get money from Kenyans, then start circulating like this. So his business is circulating. Ako biashara pale. Anakutoa kwa CRB, anakudanganya na kurudisha na huko. Kirudisha na huko, ako na mpango wa kurudisha kwa CRB ile siku utakosa kulipa hii deni. Na mmefungulia Ruto Bank. Inana wili. Inafanya vizuri sana. Inafanya na anatumia power zake kama president kusema kwamba hasla fan na watu ukop. He is marketing it. Actually he is marketing his own business using the name as the president. Using the position to influence Kenyans to earn profit and mislead them with those statements. You have to understand this. Hakuna ni anzuru nitu alikuwa nao ya kutuwa watu kwa CRB. Na kama kuna wena ametoa, anawatoa, hakiwaleta hapa kwake na hakitona kwa rubisha kule. Na yeye ndiyo profetia wa hii biyashara. 